Hey, this is YBR back with Street Legal Racing Redline, and there's been a bit of delay in these videos because there was an update to the game that broke my save file. So I tried for a while to actually keep using that save file and figure out if there was a way to fix it. I could not find a solution, so what I did is I moved all of my cars over to a new save file, and I used a couple of cheat codes on it. So first, I used a cheat code to give me $100,000, so we now have about the amount of money we had before. And then I also used the cheat code to put us back at the top of the rankings because I already did this on camera. There's no point in doing it twice. And now what I want to do is I want to take this muscle car and I want to use it in the race of champions. But we can't quite do that yet because the car does not have 750 prestige points. So we got to get some prestige points. And I think the best way to do that would be do races in Valo City during the day. So we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to 1056 AM and then head to Valo City. I'm not exactly sure who will even race me here though, because yeah, I'm the top of the red team, but I don't know what my reputation actually is, and right there I just bashed up my car and lost the fender already. That is actually impressive how fast I managed to do that. I thought I could just clear that and use it as a shortcut. Nope, can't do that. So how about this guy? Do you want to race? <laughs> when I roll up to people, I use my sirens. Like, who wants to race the dude with the police sirens? Don't worry, I'm not really a cop, I just look like one. So that guy said no, how about this guy? You wanna race? Not him, what about this guy? Is that actually the other guy? I don't know. Try it again, just in case it was the uh, first guy again. Nope, so he won't race me either, so out of the way. I'm crashing into you because you wouldn't race me. How dare you disrespect me like that? Oh my goodness, that bus just cut that guy off so hard. That bus is the worst driver in the world, man. That guy will race me, maybe. All right, here we go. I got a race. Who gets to choose location? I do. So we're going to do this simple for me. We're going to have a long straightaway and then a little bit of room to slow down as well. That's the perfect race. And I'm not even going to do for money. Just prestige. Although, if the cops go after me, then I should have done it for money because I have to pay for the stupid ticket or try to escape them. But to me, escaping the cops in this game isn't exactly fun. Because the way it's implemented just isn't fun. I mean, it, uh, that's the easiest way to explain it. It's not fun. Alright, let's start slowing down right here. Because I have such a huge lead, I don't want to crash at the end of the race. And I'm pretty sure that was a good choice right here because I have no idea where I'm going and I know there are cars in front of me. And if I was going full speed, I probably would have hit one of them by now. Thankfully I didn't, so we got some prestige. The car now has 558 prestige. What did it have before? I'm not exactly sure. How about you? Do you want to race? He will not race me. All right. Let's go keep looking for some more people to race. Hey, that looks like a church or something right there. That's kind of neat looking. I uh, never saw that building in this game before. Like I'm used to just seeing the city buildings. That one stands out to me a lot because it's so unique. That's kind of neat. Just shows I'm driving in a location I don't normally drive in. So there's a cop coming up here. We're going to go nice and slow. Don't want to do anything illegal in front of the cop. I'm going to stop at the red light and then take a legal right turn. Everything I do, 100% legal. Now the cop's gone, though. Floor it. You know, 200 kilometers per hour on the freeway. Yep, that's how we do it. Hey, hey, hey. You want to race? You want to race? You want to race? Nope, he's not going to race me. I see a green car. That's the ones I'm probably going to have to race. So I'm going to spin around right here and try to head towards them so we go forward and then we're gonna take a right up here and hopefully we'll meet up with them yep whoa getting a little squirrely hey hey hey! you want to race you want to race you want to race you know you do nope he won't race me turns out it's actually hard to get people to race ya if I don't find anybody in the next minute, I'm going to go ahead and find a different way to uh, level up the reputation of this vehicle because I'm spending more time just kind of cruising along the streets and actually racing people. That's unacceptable. These guys are all a bunch of wimps. They should be more than willing to race me. Well, there goes my engine. Ah, I love how that dude just slams into me. Not only did I lose my engine, I also destroyed my vehicle. And, um... I think I ran into a cop car, but they didn't care. Like, they should be trying to arrest me now. They just aren't. So let's go ahead and uh, tow this back to the garage. That's going to be rough. How much is it to repair the car? $21,000. All right. There goes a ton of money. 
How much is it to buy a new engine? Let's just buy an engine kit. I think you could put a V12 in this, so let's get the V12 right here. 2026 horsepower. That doubles the power. Double the power. In a way, this crash could be the best thing that ever happened to me. So this thing has a manual transmission right now. Don't want that. I'm going to go ahead and swap that to an automatic, but I can't afford an automatic unless I sell my manual. So we'll sell the manual. Then we're going to go to the engine and buy a automatic transmission right here. So we got uh, stock automatic, street automatic, sports semi-automatic, semi-racing, and racing. Now, I really don't like the semi-automatics because I always forget you have to shift at the start. So I'm going to just go with the street automatic and see how that thing does. We'll stick it on the car real quickly and uh, just do a little testing real quick. No driver's seat installed. That thing fell out. Well, yeah, I guess it did. A lot of things fall out of this car in that crash. So I'll go ahead and uh, grab a driver's seat real quickly. I get to choose what kind of seat I want. So many choices. Well, I can't actually choose most of them. I could either choose the MC seats or one of the SL Tuner ones. And the SL Tuner ones don't look that nice. And the MC ones actually kind of fit the looks of the car, so we're going to go with that one. Only need a driver's seat. That's it. Do I need doors and fenders and hoods and bumpers? No. No. Those are just extras. And I just noticed, with all those upgrades to my car, the prestige jumped to a 1000 So now all we need to do is get another $100,000. That sounds a lot harder than it is, actually. So we could do some street racing. But you saw what happened last time. Nobody would race me and I wrecked my car. So instead of doing that, let's see if there are any events that I can do to get some uh, experience or some money here. There's one, but that's a destruction derby. Not the kind of event I want to take my $100,000 vehicle to. And just going through these, none of them are ones I can actually participate in. I saw a couple that said I had the wrong drive type. And I have no idea what kind of drive type this thing even is. I guess since this one says rear-wheel drive and I have the wrong one, it must be an all-wheel drive car. I mean, there's no clear indicator when you choose a transmission if it's all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. That's kind of annoying. So, like, if I pull this uh, transmission out and you look at the information, it just says street automatic transmission. But you install it. Right here, it tells you all-wheel drive. But you have to buy it to know that. It's kind of dumb. Anyways, back over to the events. I don't have the money for a manual transmission. So we're just going to see, is there anything at all that I can participate in? If not, the alternative is to get another car out here and do some races with it. Which is really what I might have to do, because I went all the way to the right already. This time we're going all the way to the left, and I'm not seeing anything. It's kind of annoying. You get this amazing car, but no event is set up for it. Like, I wanted to try my 2,000 horsepower, but I don't get to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just look through the events to see which one I can actually modify the car to work. Or maybe we can find one that works with this car. But I'm pretty sure we won't make enough money for the events to use this car. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so it seems like if I switch this transmission out for a manual, there are quite a few races I can actually participate in. Question is, is can I afford the manual transmission for a V12? Just barely. Like that is super close to being able to not afford that. And I'm curious if this will make it rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, so let's just go ahead and take a peek. Now it's rear-wheel drive, so that opens up even more challenges that we could participate in, but we have the wrong pedals. And if I want to buy the new pedals, I actually don't have enough money for that, so we got to just find a way to make a couple hundred dollars real quick, like, so I'm going to just grab uh, my second car, because I don't really care for this car much. We'll just sell off a couple of doors this thing has, and that should be enough to pay for it. There we go. Sell that door. The that, sell that, sell it, whoops, sell, sell, sell. All right, now we have enough for some pedals. Actually, I'm going to buy it with the other car just in case there are certain pedals that don't work with certain cars. I don't think there's a situation like that, but if there is, I don't want to blow all my money on the wrong set of pedals. So, interior, pedals, and then let's look for the cheap ones. Yeah, $800 versus $1,100. Much better deal. So stick those in. And then let's see what we can participate in. And right off the bat, there's one we could do. But I already did that one. That was like the last one I did. I was going to do some drag races if I can win. Because those are the fastest ones to get some money, it seems like. So this one has an entrance fee. Don't want to do that one. 
And that one actually is for all-wheel drive, which I would have done last time, but you need a win in the race of champion, which is what we'll be doing soon. That's my goal right now is to win that. I just got to find one that I can actually afford. Okay, here we go. That one or that one. Either of them will work. I'm assuming this one will be a little bit easier. So we'll start off with this one and see how we do. Because I have no idea how this thing will actually drive. I mean, 2,000 horsepower. I don't know of an engine in this game that's more powerful than it. So I should be able to win. But I don't know if I'll be able to put the power down with these tires or what. It's all kind of questions. Also, I have to shift on my own. And that's a uh, huge detriment. All right, so I am just spinning my wheels this time. Let's not wreck it. Let's just go ahead and take the loss, and then we're going to swap out these for some drag radials because I'm pretty sure that's what we need to do to actually put all that power down. If we had all-wheel drive, it would work, but, uh, well, yeah. You can't have all-wheel drive for that challenge. It's kind of dumb. So let's go ahead and remove these two rear tires, and I'm thinking I'll have enough without having to sell anything. It's going to be close, though. So we're going to go running gear, tires. So two tires, we can afford those. And then I don't know how much the rims are. Like, they're stock rims, so I think they're kind of cheap. Oh, this is close. Yes, we're good. $42. Thank goodness there's no entrance fee. So put the uh, rims on, then we put the tires on. All right, now we should be able to win that thing because we were able to hook up a little bit where before we were just spinning. If we can't hook up still, I might just mess with the gearing to make it do it a little bit better. Because uh, if it's geared up in a way where it just puts down too much power, there's not much you can do about that besides uh, use less pedal. But that's not me. I'd rather change the gearing. The manual just shifts so slow, it feels like. All right, we could definitely win this. I'm going to just play around with the gearing a little bit, though, to make it a little better. And wow, I was able to stop without crashing. That's great. I may have lost, but I didn't crash my car. So only down by a tiny bit of time. We should be good. So let's go ahead and remove the body so we can see the transmission. We're going to grab the tuning tool. Click on the transmission. I'm just going to make the end ratio really, really long and see what that does. And while we're here, we could also lower the PSI of the tires to be like 0.5 bars. So it'll hopefully hook up better because I did have a lot of wheel spin. So let's just go ahead and see what this does with a quick test. And uh, depending on the results, we'll modify it some more. So we're not hooking up. Like we just got wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin. We're going 200 kilometers per hour. The wheels are still spinning. One of the solutions you could do that is just not accelerate so hard. But that gets a little hard when you have a manual transmission and you try not to stall out the car. Especially with this engine. This thing seems like it stalls out really, really easy when I've driven it around. So let's see here. So if we were just coming from a stop, trying to go about maybe three quarters throttle. And that stalled it out. Yeah. So you have to go full throttle at the start just to get the car going and then you have to let up on the throttle and that's the exact opposite of what you would normally do. Normally you have a light throttle at the start and then you get on it when you get the traction. Totally backwards. What we might need to do is modify the suspension. And really the only piece of the suspension you need to modify will be the trailing arms. Unfortunately to get access to them you gotta remove everything else on the suspension basically. So we'll just remove all of that. Go over here. Do the same thing and then let's see how much money is the trailing arm I currently have worth $400 that's not bad so we're gonna sell these trailing arms off and then we're probably gonna need a couple hundred more to get better trailing arms so let's also sell off I want to keep that transmission because I'll probably use it in the race of champions because they don't limit me to a manual transmission only and I also want to keep both sets of tires around because I'm not sure if the drag tires will be the best for actual street driving so to get a little bit more money, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go to one of my cars and sell off a few parts of it. Don't want to sell off my beautiful paint job car. But this thing, the pile of junk, we can sell off the wheels on it. That's right, we're literally going to sell the wheels off of this car to be able to afford these upgrades. And hopefully it'll be worth it because it should make this car, well not this car, it should make the muscle car a lot faster. Because the amount of wheel spin we're getting right there is probably what's really holding this car back. If we could actually hook up, this thing should take off. So we're going to go ahead and sell all four of these tires for $100 each. Barely getting any money from them, but it's enough, I would hope, to be able to get the part I need. So we're going to go shopping. We're going to go to running gear, suspension, and then we want something heavy duty that could really put the power down. So maybe the hauler Super Duty Extra 750. And we need the rears, which are over here. So we're going to get one right and one left. 
And these are actually only $450, so I don't know if I need to sell all those tires, but I need to sell at least one of them. So we'll go and strap both of those in. And then we'll also attach the rest of the suspension. Doesn't matter what order I do it in really, because it should be symmetrical from what I had it set up before. All right, let's go ahead and test that out. Floor it, upshift, and it stalled? What? Oh, and now it's popping a wheelie. Okay, this is much better at putting down the power. Now I know why it stalled. It stalled out because it was hooking up so hard the engine couldn't overcome the amount of grip the tires were giving it basically, and that's what caused it to stall out. That's very promising, but if I'm gonna be popping wheelies, I need actually less traction because when I start popping wheelies, I slow down a ton. So let's go ahead and throw on those other tires I have. See, I almost sold those. Good thing I didn't do that, so we're gonna just swap these off for a pair of SL Tuners Dish 12 19s, which run SL Tuners 295 20R19 soft compound racing tires. So let's see what this feels like. Full throttle, shift, then stall out, and that is hooking up. That was amazing. We're going 360 by that first marker. That is probably in the sixes or sevens on the quarter mile races we were doing in the events. So let's go ahead and try that out now. Should be easy money here. $10,000, here we go. Look at my guy, he's not even holding the steering wheel. He's pretending to, he's like, I'm so confident. I'm not even gonna steer. I'm just gonna floor it and hope the car goes perfectly straight, which is not gonna actually happen. Go! A little bit of a stutter as always, and this is easy victory. I can even slow down before the end. Like even with me breaking before the finish line, that was like a seven second run. That was actually basically a six second run if I didn't slow down. That is spectacular. And that's $10,000. What if we did this one where you could apparently get $15,000? Can we beat them here too? We're gonna find out. Again, not even holding the steering wheel, just sitting there with my hands, kind of in my floating above my lap. This guy has a fast looking car. This should be closer. Get out the gate good. That was a perfect launch. And they are losers, but it is a lot closer than the last one. That one was within a second. The other one I beat him by a whole second at least. So right there, I was in a 6.6 .6 second quarter mile. At least I assume these are about a quarter mile. They did it in seven seconds. I mean, this thing makes 2,000 horsepower. Oh, game crashed. But as I was saying, with this thing having 2,000 horsepower and probably not weighing that much because I removed all the body panels accidentally, that seems like a pretty reasonable time. I'm kind of curious though. What if we tuned the air to fuel mixture to be a 20 to one ratio? Would that increase the power? Let's see here. Yeah, that's another 500 horsepower. We just had sitting on the table, not doing nothing. Now this thing should be even faster. So I'm gonna just do some races get the money we need and next time we'll be doing the race of champions in my fancy v12 drag car that's also made for street racing and i'll put some body panels on it and give it a paint job too i don't know if i'll do that this video or the next one yet i haven't decided depends how long these races take a little slower out the gate but i got the extra 500 horsepower so they don't have a chance i think they might slow down before the finish if they didn't do that it would have been a lot closer and there goes another body panel Something just fell off. Still got a six second run though. $15,000, go again. Three, two, one, shift, go. It's funny how early you have to shift compared to the word go. Like you just know it's coming, so you shift and the car stutters and then it launches. All right, another one into the wall. Annoying, 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 but I'm making so much money I'll be able to repair it as long as the engine doesn't fall out. If the engine falls out, then I have some serious issues. Three, two, one, again, go. Oh, I almost did that one too early. Like I was across the line right as go appeared. I mean, that's basically a perfect launch though. And this time I'm a little bit gentler into the wall, but I'm still into the wall. A 6.5 absolutely destroying them by a whole half second, which doesn't sound like much, but when the race is only seven seconds long, that's a pretty significant margin. You know, they have their hands just sitting in their lap too. It's kind of like what I'm doing right now with my hands in real life as I hold a gaming controller. Maybe it's actually doing my real life uh, hands. I'm sticking my hand out to the left. Nope, he didn't move his hand. And that was a really bad launch because my hand was actually not on the controller. I mean, that's all on me, but I got the extra power at the end. This, 
Did it win? Did it win? Come on. Yes. That extra 500 horsepower right at the end to just push it. That was perfect. All right, how much money is that? That is 70,000. So we're going to do that race a few more times and we'll probably paint the car and put the body panels on it next video because it's starting to feel like this video has been running on for quite some time. I wouldn't be surprised if we're already at like 20 minutes and 20 seconds by now or something like that. So here we go. Another drag race. Okay, launch. Oh, they're kind of pushing me. Hey, 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 hey. What do you think you're doing trying to pass me? Uh-uh, that's not how this works. I stay in the lead. You follow. It's a very simple idea. How do you not know this? So after we do this one, we should have enough for the race of champions. And I really appreciate how this race has no entrance fee. Whoa! What's going on with my car? Something's definitely not right here. I don't think I can pull this victory off. No. I think I damaged the car a little too much on the walls like that. Is I was steering to go to the left and the car's just like, no, -uh, we're going to go right into this wall whether you like it or not. So let's just go ahead and back out of here and... Uh, just repair the whole thing, I guess. 17,000, basically 18,000, because you round that up to repair it. Didn't even look that damaged because it doesn't have body panels. So we gotta do the race a few more times. We're easily making a profit, though. If we were losing money, it'd be a big issue, but we are like 60,000 up from where we started, so that's pretty good. Tires are getting a little bit worn. I'm noticing my launches are getting worse, but I still got the top end speed that they don't, so I'm okay for now, and I wish I could steer left. I'm telling it to go left, but it just goes straight into the wall. So go ahead and complete this one. We'll do one more race, and I'm going to look at the uh, tires and see if they actually need to be replaced. So launch it. Try to keep it a little straighter. That was a uh, much straighter launch, but you see they're launching just as strong as me now. And, ooh, right into the wall. Come on, straighten it, straighten it, straighten it. Don't hit the other wall. Oh, we hit it. At least we're going slow enough where it really didn't matter. I feel like I could still win, so we're going to do another one until I feel like I can't win. So for doors, I'm going to keep it simple and use the stock ones, but all these are like the crazy looking ones. There's one normal door. We got to find another normal door, though. There's the other one. All right, what's next on the list of parts? Rear right quarter panel. Already have that, but we don't have a trunk, so we'll grab a trunk. And then that's another rear quarter panel. Don't need that. A mirror. We can go and grab that. I wanted to make sure I didn't have one. I'm pretty sure I don't either way. Rear bumper. I think I bought one of those in the other menu, so we're going to skip over that. I know I bought a hood, and then that's a front quarter panel, so we do need that, and that's another front quarter panel, so we'll grab that one as well. And then over here, we need the parts of the grill. You could also get that part of the grill. There's a lot of parts to that grill. Right, the bumper I bought was a rear, not a front. Oh, it was a front. So then I do need the rear bumper. Although, which bumper looks better? I kind of like the looks of the uh, stock bumper better than that one, but I already bought it. No going back now. We also can go ahead and get some windows since ours fell out, so we'll get the rear windshield. Actually, are there tinted ones and normal ones? Or are they all the same? Looks like they're all the same, so we'll go ahead and get rear windshield. Passenger's window, don't need that, I guess, because the door might come with it? I don't know, we'll just get it anyways. And then driver's window, yeah, we need that too, we need this too. So for headlights, do we want a fancy colored one or do we want a normal one? I don't even use the headlights, to be honest, so it'd probably be dumb to get a fancy colored one, but pink headlights sound so awesome right now. So we're going to grab the pink ones. And then for tail lights, let's go ahead and grab uh, the right one and the left one because there's no difference on those. Then we also need the indicators. And that's all the parts we're going to be installing on this thing, unless I want to go a little crazy and also put on a wing. So we got this one. So this one says it's a prestige bomb that produces significant downforce. What about this one, though? And uh, it's it. it produces significant down and side force. Supports two layers totaling 1.5 times more than GTR to improve downforce. That one's La Manza. That one's totally different. But when it says two, does that mean I can put a wing on my wing? Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it just means like that's kind of two layers of wing on it. Otherwise, that'd be absolutely crazy. I'm going to go with this one just because it gives you the side force. I think that might be more useful when you're driving on uh, actual streets and stuff. And then we could go neon lights. Nah, that's just getting stupid overkill. Oh, we could get a different muffler, though. I mean, that's one of those things where I never even touch it, but it would look nice to have a big fat cannon on the rear of this thing, probably. You need the one that sticks up like 10 feet in the air. Those things are awesome. I mean, awesome in the worst way. Let's get this one. I like the color on the tip. And I'm pretty sure this thing has a dual exhaust by default, so we'll grab two of those. And there's a body kit we could put on this thing. Oh, 
Well, I want to take a look at what that is. I'm not exactly sure what that even includes. So we just blew a ton of money here. All right, so that just includes like the bumpers and stuff. I don't know, it won't let me attach it anymore, so that's weird. All right, let's go and remove these mufflers and put on my new ones. Oh, that looks so much cooler. And we'll just put on all the parts we possibly can now. So we start here and just start clicking. See what will let us put on. Okay, we can't put on bumpers because it puts them on with the body kit. I have no idea what else the body kit's supposed to contain, but I can't use it anyway, so we'll just uh, forget about that. And I guess I can't put the scoop on this hood. I guess we don't really need it considering how low that engine sits. Like that thing got a low center of gravity. That thing is gonna handle excellently, I bet. Or it might just find a way to crash the game somehow. So I went ahead and installed the body panels again. We got like two more races here and we're good for the race of champions. My car definitely looks a lot more appropriate now. The color scheme isn't the best, but we're gonna fix that in the next video. I said I would. Right now though, I am just going to race. And those pink headlights, man, they looking good. All right, come on, try to stop this without major impacts. There goes my rear tail light that I just bought. At least we won the race. And this will be the last race we need to do before we can go to the race of champions. It's funny, I got the headlights on, but is it really necessary? It's pretty bright out, you know? So out of the gate, they're actually pushing past me just for a second, it's so weird. And then all of a sudden, like they have a bad shift or something, and then it's my victory. Oh, there goes my door, I think. How much money can we lose on body panels? A lot. We'll do one more race just to be able to afford the body panels. You know, I keep saying I'm going to buy new tires, but I really don't know if it's necessary because I look down at the little uh, icons and it shows like the tires are pretty fresh. I just don't know how they keep making me scared that I might lose. Oh, that's a hard impact. Don't lose no body panels, man. Please don't lose none. Let's see what it looks like. I know we lost the brake light, but that's pretty cheap to replace. How is the rest of this thing? We lost the fender. Can we just strap that one onto the car? That'd be great, wouldn't it? So we need to buy a new front fender and then we'll repair it and hopefully we'll still have enough money to do the race of champions. Let's find out. Body stock parts. And it was the right front quarter panels the one we're looking for. There we go. Not going to worry about the mirror. We're going to do this the uh, old school way. We only get one mirror. Oh, my, my radiator wasn't installed? How did that happen? I thought it was always installed. That's weird. Anyways, put that on. Close the door, repair the car. See, it's only $2,000 now to repair it. A little bit cheaper because we're repairing the body panels and not the frame, which ends up costing a lot. So anyways, that will do it for this video. Till next time, this has been YBR. I just noticed how wide those rear fenders are. I'll see ya. See, it looks so much better if you have a wheel that actually fits. And while we're here, you know what we should do? We should pop a wheelie. So I'm gonna back this thing up and we're gonna just pop a wheelie right in front of the camera. It's gonna be beautiful. Cause that's the only thing the fat tires are good for for me is to pop wheelies. And yeah, I'm backing it up a lot because I know I'm going to stall out at the start and I can't even really control this thing because the camera angle is so weird. So pop it right there. First gear. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah! And it just keeps going. Like it stays up on two wheels forever because first gear is so long. Anyways, that'll do it. Till next time for real. This has been YBR. I'll see ya.